Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a random message maker. And it looks something like this. If you come to the game, you can't see it, but it's strategically placed on this ramp. So if I go across the ramp, I get a message and it stays on the screen. I can make it go away, but I want it to stay on the screen. Then the next time I go over the trigger, I get another message and another message. They just keep coming randomly. And if you wanted to add additional of these to the scene, then we would have to make this disappear. We're just going to use one for right now. So anyway, I'll just go ahead and start this from scratch. And here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into widget, load layout, default editor, content drawer, docking layout, go to the content level folder. I'm going to right click, create a user widget blueprint, click there double click into this and I'm just going to dock this up top and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an overlay so we'll just get an overlay here drag it on the scene like that and then just we just need some text so I'm going to get some text here it's going to dock in the upper left we're going to put it in the right up there on the top and then there's some padding if you want to bring it down a little bit you can do that and put maybe 50 in there and then we can you know resize the font we can make the font bigger we can change the color. The last thing we're going to do is just delete the text block because otherwise it'll appear on the screen. So then once we have that done, what I'm going to do is we're going to use a user interface for the communication. And this is probably one of the most efficient ways to do widget blueprint communication. So I'm going to right click. We're going to go to blueprint here, blueprint interface. We're going to double click into this. We'll leave everything called the default on input here. This is going to be our channel of communication. I'm just going to call this text. And then we're just going to set this to the variable type. I have to pull this out a little bit. I can't see anything. We're going to set this to a text type. And that is all we need to do. Then I can jump back into the widget blueprint here. Go to the, the graph here. And then under class settings we're just going to implement that interface. So we're going to add that, not the namespace, the, inter the interface here. Go new interface right here. It comes up in right here. We don't need any of these, so I'm just going to delete those. And then I'm just going to double click this. Oh, the one thing I forgot to do is on the designer here, on the text, we need to set it to a variable. So let me compile and save that. Then it'll appear over here. Then all we're going to have to do here, this is super simple. Double click this or drag it onto the scene. Get the text block. Drag off of here and just go set, set text. Right like that. And all we have to do is drag this exec pin in there and our text in there. And it's all set up now to no problem. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to create the trigger for our message maker. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to blueprint class, get actor, I'm going to just call this message maker, and then we're going to double click into it, and then I'm going to add a box collision, and we can go ahead and thicken up the lines a little bit. Once that's selected, I can come down here, and I'm going to click on component begin overlap right here and there's just a couple things we need to do and we're done so the first thing is I'm going to need a text an array to hold all of my messages so I'm going to go to variable and I'm going to select a text message here and I can call this text too and we want to set it as an array compile and save that and then we can just drag this onto the scene here, get text, and drag off of here and go get array. And we want a copy of it here. And then we need something to pop into here to go through our index. So I'm going to right click and search for get random int random. Oh, here it is. I don't know why it wasn't coming up. Get random int in range that one and then we'll just I'm just gonna create five messages so I'm gonna set this from zero to four and then this is just gonna pop into here like that and then with my text 
selected here, well, let me go, I'll just go one, two, three, four, five, and I'll just put like, you know, some silly messages in here, like way to go or something like that. Whatever the message is that you want. I'm gonna right click and search for new interface. Well, there's a couple of things we have left to do. So there's our function, our interface function, and we just need to create a reference to our widget and we need to create it too. So what I'm gonna do is delete those nodes and we're just gonna come up here and go create widget here, this one, and we're gonna tie that to our blueprint that we created. And then we're just gonna go add to viewport here, to viewport here, and that's all set up. And then the great thing here is that this has a reference, so we can just drag that into target, put our text into text, and drag this in right like this. And that's the whole thing. And compile and save. And then if I come in here, and let's say I drag this over here on this ramp, I can come down here, I can stretch this out a little bit. We have our random message maker. So if I hit play, I'm in the game, and I come across over here, I get my random message. And every time I cross it, I get a different message. So it's random, so it might get the same one several times. So it's just a really kind of fun thing that you might want to add to your game. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.